What's up guys, it's Vigi here and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Undead Slayer class. This is one of the hardest hitting reputation classes in the game. It's a member only class but um, it's one of the easiest to get because it's doom mode. Um, and why I recommend farming doom mode rep is because you get three classes for one reputation. You get doom, sorry, you get death knight, undead slayer and then necromancer which is a pretty decent bargain without further ado let me show you guys just how to get the class you want to join light guard Oops. ouch um they run all the way here talk to a familiar face but we got the necromancer and paladin class lady speed stick her rep shop you will see the under slayer here 50,000 gold and 10. It's also a 2 KSC variant, which is definitely not worth it. You can also get the class in the Paladin shop, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the upgrade on the version, so the AC version. And um, yeah, so without further ado, let's look at the stats of the class 653 attack power, 168 spell power, full strength, low intellect. <coughs> Full endurance, decent dexterity, mediocre wisdom, and not so good luck. Gains mana the terrible way, which is by auto attacks, which is just pretty shit. But, um, first rank for passive rejuvenation. The undead lay has greater endurance in battle to stand against the hordes of undead. That's just endurance buff. And the second is bless, bless speed burst. Increase haste by 10% quickly defeat undead enemies. So just a haste buff. It has a rank 10 passive called Spirit Surge, which if you watch rank my rank 10 passes video part 1 um, you see it happening just like your spirit power goes ma automatically to the maximum which is 200 no matter um, where it's at if it's at 1 you could just go to spirit power 200 which is very decent for nuking so that being said let's go to the skills of the class join pirates line. And this layer is a very fun class. This you know, back in the day before I had any chrono, this was my hardest hitting class. I I'd, like if I was bored, I just equip it and go to either Captain you know, OBR or the Tomb Overlord and just ice <laughs> them for the fun of it. Um, your auto attack is just the basic auto attack, except when fighting undead enemies, you gain spirit power. So. You can see spirit power applies on me. You see spirit power enhances the other moves later. But other than that, it's just a basic auto attack, nothing special. You can see the spirit power climb. So the rank 10 pass it takes the spirit power to spirit power 200. My two skills is called exercise 10 mana to second cooldown is a physical skill. A powerful spirit attack damage enhanced by spirit power, more effective against the undead. So as you can see. My speed power 10 and I'm doing like 3 keys there. So um, this is just like a basic skill on tone and it's like deals more damage against on So without speed power, it deals about 1k crits. Then as the speed power increases, your damage increases. So this skill is pretty basic. Um just extra damage damage boost by speed power. And this is a range skill by the way, so yeah, your two skills called Spirit of Healing, 20 mana, 10 second cooldown, is a physical skill, heal yourself with Spirit Power, amount heal increase with Spirit Power, so once again this is based around Spirit Power, now I have 0 Spirit Power, so my heal heals me 2.3k, this heal will go up to 10k's um, and such when your Spirit Power reaches the max, which is pretty decent, so as you can see, wait, let me increase my Spirit Power to like 5, 1, come on, 2, Three, four, five. Oops, non crit, but you guys can see 720 non crits should go up to about 3k crit, also something like that. Uh, let's try it again and see. You can see 3k crit, which is fairly decent. Four skill is called Vopar Strike, 10 mana, 5 second cooldown, is a physical skill. It's a strong attack enhanced by spirit power. So this one too is just um let me see it's just a stronger version of this skill but um 
yeah but this one just deals is more effective against undead and then this one isn't for this one is a heavier attack anyway so um on its own normally without any spirit power just 2k crits then once again we'll see the difference at spirit power 5 come on to You can see how um, the every single skill so far, as you can see, 1.3k non crit. Every single skill requires heavily on spirit power. So you can see the importance of um, staying still, especially when in a group fighting a boss. Because if the boss keeps running up and down, up and down, your spirit power fades and your power fades. So you can see this skill is very strong. Um, in the coming future, you to hit up to. Um, upper 10,000, maybe 20, 30, 40k, um, as the case may be, and depending on the stability of your weapon, by the way. So, your 5 skill is called Dragon Lance, 30 minus 30 second cooldown is a physical skill. The Undeathlier's ultimate attack requires this 20 speed power to use and consumes all speed power when used. So, as you can see, I have 0 speed power, can't use the skill because it says not enough speed power. So, let me get speed power um, from Captain O and then show you. This is your nuke skill. So you can't like nuke if you don't have 20 speed power. So that's one. Let's go. Four. While if we get getting speed power, for enhancements you want to go full lock by the way get those crits up lock 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 just get those crits up um because nobody wants fighter unless you want to increase your health and your non crits but let's be honest nobody really likes seeing non crits we're all about the crits so um i recommend getting lock enhancements on then we are almost there spirit power 18 uh, let's but let's look at the other skills because this skill consumes speed power let's look at how strong the other skills are now as you can see seven keys the sonar has speed power 25 and then you can see there that was a 37k crit with the on with a stable weapon so with an unstable weapon that could have been much higher it could have also been much lower so that's basically the under layer class this class is terrible for pvp i don't recommend anyone to use it um, it's only good against undead against regular monsters too. It's not it's pretty average So I won't recommend using this class um, Unless you're fighting the doom Overlord or a board red or any undead boss that has lots of health Or you just want to impress your friends and take on old beard so mm, um, This was all for the undead slayer class guide um as usual the solo clip is going to come after mm, i hope you guys really enjoy this thing <coughs> i'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit off i'm having a sore throat but it's all look good so that being said uh i've been through you till next time i'm out love you guys peace